How's it going, everyone? I hope you enjoyed September the 24th's race weekend at Buckshot Speedway for the Open Wheel Modifieds. It was a pretty crazy race for this time. Many cautions were in this one, but we all had fun and it was super interesting to watch and they gave us a show. For all of those that weren't able to make it, this video is for you. Hope you enjoy. Open Wheel Modifieds, we have 22, Mike Rominger, number two. Lonnie Newton, number 555. Miller Green, number 15, the blue and white. Dwayne Littleton, number 60. Scotty Gowers, number 03 of Devin Keener. Number S96, Sonia Newton. Number H2 of Mark Harrison. Number 12, J.R. Brown. Number 59, David Griffin. And number 96, David Newton. And rounding out the field is going to be the 06, Jordan Wilkins. 27 of Matthew Parker. And the 7X. We have a David Newton and a S. We got and a Sonia Newton. And rear to field. 27, Matthew Parker. Green flags up for Rominger. He gets a good start. Single foul. J.R. Brown coming almost from the rear. Oh, he almost rear ends because he whips up. He whipped up in front of him. He carried all that speed around the outside. And when he whipped up in front of him, he had no choice but slam on the brakes. J.R. Brown just had all that speed going around the turn. All right. Like I said, folks, J.R. Brown's got a fast car. Now he's just got to get around this whole field that's in front of him. Scotty Gowers got loose and went up high. Hopefully he can keep it under control in this restart. Rominger had a good jump off. He gets it nicely again. J.R. Brown taking the inside line this time so he can stay clear of anybody going up. Once again, number 60, Scotty Gowers gets loose up and Scott, uh, goes up high. So that gives J.R. The clean air on the bottom to take the inside line. Now he's looking at Romager's rear bumper. Gowers trying to take the inside line. He just gets tight into turn number two there. Almost gets into 555. Miller Green. Miller Green gets it loose right there. He's going to T-bone. He's going to T-bone that tractor tire there. This is going to be the Delaware restart. Rominger out front. J.R. Brown on the inside. Second place spot. See what he's got for him. Gowers maybe in a better spot on that outside line. Rominger going to start on the outside. Try to get the speed on the front stretch. J.R. Brown going to use that to his advantage. Rominger gets real tight to that turn. He's going to lose two spots now. Lose it to Gowers. He's on the rear bumper of Gowers right there, riding it down the back stretch. Gowers is going to make the most of it as he can. You made a mistake, buddy, and now he's going to uh, try to run away with it. J.R. Brown. Oh, he's going for the lead for J.R. Brown. He's a good try, though. He got tight again on turn two. Rominger starting to fall back. He did have the lead. He made a mistake there. Got real tight. J.R. Brown gets extremely loose. He gets shot down into the infield. Comes right back up. I don't know about that. I don't know why he come right back up in front of the field like that. That's going to cause the 5 to stomp on his brakes because, I mean, hey, he come right in front of him. And then Rominger spins out on his own. Gowers, number 60, Scotty Gowers. He's gonna take that top spot. He's gonna, hey, he's gotta keep it under control. He's got the S96 of Sonoya Newton and then the other 96 of David Newton behind him. See if they can tag team Gowers. Trying to keep him in the rear. Another turn two. Keeps it under control pretty well. J.R. Brown's trying to make his way back up the field again. White flag. Then we're gonna take the inside line. Trying to get up there to Gowers. Gerald Brown, he's just trying to make position now. He's got a lot of motor in that car. Barely able to keep it under control. 
lot of motor in that car. Number 96. Number 96. David Newton. He's going to have to make that last lap pass. Going to make that last lap pass. Going to beat up on Scotty Gowers. We have the number two, Lonnie Newton. He's going to be on the inside line pole position of Dwayne Littleton in the number 15, blue and white. Mark Harrison behind him in the 03 of Devin Keener behind him. Let's see what Newton, Lonnie Newton's got for Dwayne Littleton. They're going to start it off. And there was no green flag. There was no green flag, so... We're going to try it again see what Lonnie if Lonnie can keep it on the inside line. Green flag's up. That's a good start. Nice. A little contact with Wayne Littleton there. Gets him, gets him loose. That's going to allow Mark Harrison to come around the outside and O3 of Keener on the outside. He's going to fall back to fourth. All the way back to fifth. He got something going on with the car. He's kind of weaving back and forth. Pretty loose some. He may have it under control now on this front stretch, but he's still having a hard time. Now turn a little tight. Mark Harrison making a move. Bumps him right into the door. 03 of Keener is going to go ahead and twist him around. Jordan got to check up. Jordan Wilkins got to check up. Stop on those brakes to keep from hitting Mark Harrison. He tried to make that run, but ended up biting him in the butt. Got two of them. Mark Harrison and Daryl Littleton, they went ahead and pulled off the track. I believe it's going to be a rough one for the open wheels tonight, folks. Open wheels going to have some, some good contact racing going on. Lonnie, Delaware restart. Lonnie's going to be in the front. Jordan Wilkins got a fast car. Let's see if he can keep it controlled to get around Lonnie there. Keener on that inside as well. Green flag. Lonnie trying to hold it out. Keep Jordan on, from passing him on the outside. See, Jordan, he's got that torque. He's just got to get past Lonnie. He's going to lose his speed down the back stretch. Lonnie going, going, uh, going down a little bit on Keener to make sure he doesn't pass. Doing some, doing some lead and driving right here, trying to keep him behind him. There's some faster cars behind, but he's trying to keep that lead. This is just the heat races, folks, not the feature. Keener's going to get a good run down the front stretch. That's going to that's going to clear Lonnie for that lead. Jordan going for the outside line, but he's going to hick up there. Two to go this time by. Two to go. Keener starting to pull away while they're battling here for second place. Jordan gets a good run on that outside line. Three wide, ladies and gentlemen, gets caught up on the tires right there for the number 59. That's David Griffin. He's got to check up there. White flag for Keenan. Jordan right on the bumper of him, taking that inside line. He's going to go for the lead right here. Opens the door up. Pushes him up track just a tad so he can slow him down and take that lead. Check a flag for Jordan. Good move last lap. Lonnie, all the way to the rear, man. All the way to the rear. Jordan Wilkins going to take heat number two. First place. 03, Devin Keener in the second place spot in the number 59. It's going to be David Griffin in third place spot. Open wheel modifieds, folks. That was heat number two. J.R. Brown's also got a fast car, but he finished poorly. He had uh, spun out in the heat race. He's going to have to move up this entire field of open wheels. There's going to be a sotting one, folks. They're getting built up here. Going to come out of turn four with a green flag up in the air. There it is. Open wheel modifieds with the green. Then it's a slide up from Lonnie there. Outside is Keener. Keener's got to let it up. In that fifth place spot. Things getting tense back here. J.R. Brown coming from the rear. Now he's trying to get around Dwayne Littleton. Jordan Wilkins pulling away in the, in the lead. Number 96. Do 
do believe that's going to be uh, the S96 Sonny Newton. Which one? Which one? Okay, that's going to be, I think that's going to be Sonia. It's real, being real touchy. Here we go. Jordan Wilkins out in front. David Newton behind him. And number 59 on the outside. David Griffin. Green flag for him. Big field, J.R. Brown making his way up the field. Dwayne Littleton and Mark Harrison trying to keep it safe on the low side. Number 59 loses power. 59 is losing power. Top side of the track. He's going to try to coast it in. He, may, he just barely makes it. He's able to get it into the pit area. So they're going to keep it green. Jordan Wilkins pulling away, but Keener. Keener is going to spin out there. That's also going to take out Mark Harrison in the process. Dwayne hits him with that front left tire there. He's going to have to check it out because that could put a warp on the front tie rod if he's not careful. Single file restart. Here we go. Green flag. Jordan takes off. David Newton gets a little slow on that restart. Collects G.R. Brown. Gowers in that 60. Still a little slow. Rominger having to check up now. J.R. Brown, a little contact there with Gowers. While Jordan's just riding away. J.R. Brown. Oh, he, oh man. J.R. Brown got a little tap on the outside wall there that caused it to be loose going into turn one. And when he had to slow down, the car reacted. Man, that's unfortunate for J.R. Brown. Cause he come all the way from the rear. It took him a couple laps. He come all the way from the rear up to third place. And sometimes them cars, they can be that sensitive. They can be that sensitive. Jordan Wilkins doing a wonderful job staying out front on these restarts. And he's going to wrap it off again. Let's go. Gowan all over the rear end of David Newton. Rominger wants some of that action as well. Gowan's on the outside line. Yellow flag. Keener. Keener in turn number two. Keener's turn around in turn number two. That's what he did there. Lot's going to go out. Jordan got to do it again. David Newton on his rear. Gowan was fighting for that second place position. Gowers, I'm sorry. Scotty Gowers. Green flag for Jordan. Gowers on the rear end of David getting him loose there. Peeled that rear corner panel up. Rominger now on the rear of David. Huge battle here for the second place spot. Gowers is going to be successful. Mark Harrison battling out with Dwayne Littleton right now. But Jordan's on a Sunday drive, pulling away. Rominger trying to get around David Newton. Gives him a little shove right there. Oh, he comes down on him. Couldn't quite get past. Had to let up. foul racing as of right now ladies and gentlemen green flag still riding Jordan Wilkins pulling away in his lead Gowers in second David Newton in third Rominger trying to get around David Newton now battles that's going on right now is David Newton and Rominger with Dwayne Littleton and Mark Harrison and the number seven car of Rick. Dwayne Littleton. 
Littleton been in the way long enough. Mark Harrison will take that outside line and come on around Dwayne Littleton. Peels up the rear quarter panel just a little bit. One of those turns. Caution. Oh, man. Jordan Wilkins. Golly, man. Jordan Wilkins. Green flag up in the air. Gower is now in the lead with Roman Drew behind him. Jordan now is going to make a dash up to the front. He can. He's already made one position, going for another. He's kind of stuck behind some of the rear cars. White flag. He's just not going to make it, folks. He's just not going to make it. That's super unfortunate. Mark Harrison, the battle right now, Mark Harrison, number seven, Dwayne Littleton. The checkered flag's gonna come out for Gowers. And that number 60 car, Scotty Gowers. Coming in second, it's gonna be Rominger. And coming in third, it's gonna be David Newton. Man, that's unfortunate for Jordan Wilkins. That was very unfortunate for Jordan Wilkins at the end of the race. Sometimes some crazy things can happen when you're in the lead and things just unfortunately go wrong towards the end. But nevertheless, congratulations to Scotty Gowers for his victory here at Buckshot Speedway. It was a mighty large field and it was action packed for sure. So we hope you enjoyed the race from this September the 24th. If you haven't checked out Buckshot Speedway yet, you have two more races to go. So be sure to come and check us out before the end of the year. We hope to see you next time here at Buckshot Speedway.